The Weekly Dog Sports Betting Podcast. E, welcome, baby. We back. <laughs> we back. We here, baby. Welcome to the Weekly Dog Sports Betting Podcast show. It's your boy, back on Scott, the Mayor Russian. And I'm E. Salina, the Mayor Taylor Street. E, my homie E. I'm Chaz, e. man. I'm a little bit disappointed in the Bass, but we got a great show today. We're going to get into that in Bass talk. Get the intro, man. What we got going on today, E? Hey, what, man, what before we before I let you know what we got, please make sure y'all like, subscribe, share, comment on each one of our episodes. This is season three, yeah, episode season three. three. Yeah. Hey, we here, Ooh, we, we here, here with, with the mellow. We here with the mellow. Did you know uh, Rasheed Wallace was doing that too? I ain't know. Oh uh, yeah, I mean now that now that I think about it, I think Rasheed probably started the mellow. Yeah, Rasheed started it. Yeah, Rasheed that's crazy. started that. You that's know, crazy. so man, the ball don't lie. The ball don't lie. The, the ball don't, don't lie. lie. Uh, what we got, man? We gonna go with East top five today. Top five, top five. Yeah, I gotta go ahead. Bring in the East top five. Y'all know how it was last year. This year's about to be a whole new thing. It's a lot of changes that's happening early and not late. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. East top five Bears talk. We got to get into the Bears. Uh, Bears. Got to get into the Bears, man. So disappointed about the Bears and what's going on. I got a crazy theory about that I want to talk about. And then uh, the picks, baby. Got to do the picks, man. The little dogs and the big dogs. Yeah, the dogs was out last week. The dogs was out last week. The dogs was out. Hit, the the dogs was out. But I'm trying to come give them another shot next. Give give it another shot this week. Yes, sir. But man, the intro is lit, man. Let's get into these East top five, all that stuff, this and that, yes, man. Yes, the sir. W's been crazy, man. The W been the W uh, been W-ing. Yeah, it's been you know? W. I want to talk about that uh, Asian Wilson again. We not <laughs> not Angel Reese, but look though. Asian Wilson. Hey, <laughs> Asia hey, kudos, <laughs> kudos, hey, congratulations to Asian Wilson. For breaking our girls' record, right. you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of salty about yeah. that a little bit, but, you know. She kind of got an asterisk about it. It's a little asterisk. Because so. she wasn't able to really finish the season. So, right. let's show you how, how strong Angel Reese's season was. That the MVP just now breaking her record with, like, one or two games left. So, we know mm-hmm. if Angel Reese was around, it's going to give us something to shoot forward to next year. Right. And Cubs that's and what, Sox, you want to talk about that a little bit? Or what? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, everybody know America. The Cubs been doing what the Cubs been doing, losing to losing to the teams they don't supposed to lose to when they in the hunt, and the Sox has just been losing. Period. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I mean that's just the you know that's just the the whole statement of their situation. You know it's pretty much over with. Man, they did their part. You know this year as far as I, my concern is. You know? Right. Yeah. Crosstalks is pretty much over. With. We both ain't never one of us making the playoffs. I can't hate on the Cubs no more. White Sox been doing their thing. Two kudos to them. But we ain't mess with I ain't mess with the McCaskey Kool Aid today, man. I'm, I'm kind of off of the bandwagon. Man. But before we get to the Bass talk, Joe, we gonna we gonna go on break real quick and come back with E's top five. Top Just kick five, it off, top man. five, top kick five. Oh, and for that, man, we gotta say shout out to Dion, man, for like picking us up back up a little bit. The, yeah. the, on a little bit of Colorado, cause you know, Hell yeah, you know Colorado. they hang <laughs> they hanging in there. You know, I'm uh, I'm gonna chill with some, on the Iowa to Dion Sanders getting that uh, that victory. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they they two and one, and they they look pretty good. It be, you gotta be careful what you risk for. I don't know what it is with Colorado State, but since last year. They've been really upset. I think it started at the top with Colorado State. It's, it's coming coach. from the coach. Yeah. It's trickling down to the players. The hate is real, man. It don't look good on y'all, especially when y'all <laughs> hate. get embarrassed like yeah, that. Yeah, you know they get embarrassed like, man, come it's on. That don't look good. Ain't a good look. That that comment that age well, the YouTube, all that stuff that age well. Shout out to Shadua. They did their thing. They bounced back in a real way. But, uh, man, let's get into this East Top 5 on the other side of the break. It's the yes, Weekly sir. Dog Sportsman Podcast, and uh, we'll be right back. Hey, it's your boy, E.J. LaBeeks. Hey, make sure y'all tune in to the Orchestration Radio every Tuesday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., interviewing some of the hottest up-and-coming independent artists and entrepreneurs and more. For more information, hit us up at 773-357-5089. Let's get it. Orchestration. We are coming to you live from the orchestration studio. So turn your radio up and turn those speakers up. Yo, it's your boy Shy Blizz representing Aiden's Towing and Recovery. You know they service in the northwest side of Chicago and all the surrounding suburbs. Hit them up 773-747-1142. That's 773-747-1142. Listen to the crown holder, man. They specialize in accident recovery. If you have full coverage insurance, nothing comes out of your pocket. Zero, zilch, nada. That's right. Hit them up. Aiden's Towing and Recovery, 773-747-1142. That's 773-747-1142. Do it now. 
Jilla Beats on the ones and twos. Hey, if you're looking for a producer, songwriter, DJ, engineer, a place to podcast, radio interview, even a spot to rehearse, man, make sure you hit me up, 773-357-5089. We can make all that happen at the Orchestration Institute. Ah, Jilla Beats. You tripping. <laughs> Welcome back. It's your boy, Mako Scott, the Mayor Russian. And I'm East Salina, the Mayor Taylor Street. And you're listening to the Weekly Dog Sports Band Podcast Show. And uh, E, my homie E, it's been e. a lot of moving and shaking, Joe. It's week, it's week three. Hey, it's week three. You already. Know, week three already, you know. And, um, you know, I ain't want to come out with the top five. I want to kind of have a couple yeah. of a couple of weeks under the belt. Makes so sense. to see what's going on before I just start putting, putting crowns on. In a top five style lineup, you know, but um, right. I, I feel like I got it. I got it under control now, America, and I'm just gonna kick it right off, man. Um, man well, first, you gotta <laughs> let the people know. I know you're ready, but man, you gotta let them know. Like, subscribe, share for this uh, content, man. man. And uh, these top five brought to you by Brown Toro Clean Delivery, Clean Delivery and Repair. Look at me messing up the bit. Uh, y'all know, y'all know, y'all can check the links if y'all want to get in tune. Y'all want to get some yes, sir, yes, sir. Dig, Check the links. Now you can take it away from there. E. Man, so top you know, five, and so just, uh, just, uh, just in case y'all don't know how my top five goes, based on offense, defense, special teams, great camaraderie, a great new energy, you know, in the building, you know, and it's exciting right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump right off. I gotta go start off my number five, my number five. These guys were in the top five last year, you know. Welcome back, you know. They lost a couple of players. We talking about Stephon Diggs, a couple other guys. We talking about Let's Go Buffalo. Buffalo. Let's Go Buffalo. <laughs> they number five Let's right now, you know. The reason why they number five because they got Josh Allen out there still doing his thing without without Stephon Diggs. You know, it seems like he's just reinventing himself. The defense is still showing up. I just like the way they've been um, balling these like, these first couple of weeks, despite everybody saying that they, you know, trying to. Kick them up to kick them to the curb, you know what I mean. Right, so right. that's why I got them in my top five. I feel like they 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 still um, a force to be reckoned with, but they ain't one number four team because you know <laughs> these it's some four. it's some new kids on the block. It's some new kids on the block, you know. And I gotta go with these guys. It's a controversy, but I'm gonna go ahead um, put it together. I'm talking about those Tampa Bay Buccaneers, <laughs> Tampa the Tampa Bay, Bay Buccaneers. We talking about the Baker Mayfield Buccaneers. Baker. And you know what? It took me a while to. You know, they had them crack this top five, but I just love what I've been seeing these first couple of weeks with Tampa Bay, man. Um, and then one thing for showing two things for certain, um, the biggest thing for me is that people don't never give Mike Evans his credit like he deserves, man. This dude, this dude is a Hall of Famer, first ballot Hall of Famer. This dude possibly going to break the record, the receiving record when it's all said and done. He, all he does is just get 1,000-yard seasons every, every single year, and he's consistent. He don't get hurt. I mean, I'm loving what this guy does. Like, he's a relentless beast at the wide receiver position, and I, I demand for his respect. I'm demanding for his respect, America. Yeah. But, you know, I still got to have them at number four because, you know, they still got a lot to prove, and they can't be my number three team. <laughs> can't they be can't number be my three. number three team because my number three team, they the new juggernauts. <laughs> they the new juggernauts. They over there down south. They done stole, they done stole the Dolphins. They done Uh-oh. stole the Dolphins tag. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking, talking about, about the juggernaut Texas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the juggernaut Texas. Okay. Texas. Now, granted, you know, they played against the Chicago Bears, a crazy defense. Um, last week, so it was a crazy game where they didn't really do too much. But these guys got oh offense, defense, special teams. They got everything that it takes to be in the top five. CJ Stroud is one of the youngest up and coming um, so, um, quarterbacks out here just doing his thing. Broke all the records last year, and now to come back this year and keep doing what he's doing, relentless with Nico Collins, Tank Dell, and Stephon Diggs as the um, trio wide receiver, along with a little bit of mix, a mixing at the running back position. And their defense got first rounders too that's killing. So, I mean, they, they looking to really be up there in the echelons, but you know, I got to pump my brakes because they're still a young team, so I had to keep them at the number three team right now. Okay. And the reason why they're not number two because they can't be my number two team. Be number because two my number team. two team is the, 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 it's a conspiracy that's going on out here. I mean, I don't know. It's probably like one of those back old Scott uh, conspiracies <laughs> conspiracy out here. So I'm going to just give y'all a little bit of history on what this year is. Now, Super Bowl, Hurricane Katrina Super Bowl. Okay. Who that nation okay. Who went that? to the Super Bowl and won the Super Bowl? Right. I feel like you know it's a it's again it's a New Orleans again this year. Man, those thanks those who that guys right now. That's my number two team for a reason. Who they that? they, they ain't kicking ass and taking names. I'm talking about on offense and defense. They the only team that scored 
40 points, I believe, two straight games. Alva Kamara is looking like Alva Kamara four years ago yeah. when he was scoring five touchdowns a game. Yes. You got David Carr out here just doing his thing. He just yes. not doing no intercept. Matter of fact, these dudes done scored on every possession since the season started. Yeah, they might have had a perfect you know, game last week. And, and Honey Badger, he's not even in the game yet. He's still just chilling on the sidelines, just clapping his hands and saying blowouts just happen. So, these guys is the, a force to be reckoned with, and I feel like they're going to be a force to be reckoned with all season long. My, my word, they're number two right now. I feel like they're going to stay at the number two position because they got offense and defense. They lead the league in scoring at 91 points. They, I'm talking about that's like 40 points after the uh, under the next person. Right. You know what I'm saying? Their defense is crazy too, so that's why they're my number two team. It's definitely and, um, like you know, just, just be on the lookout for my number two team, but my number one team – it's my number one team, which I don't like it. You know, I ain't trying to be biased or nothing, but I got to have them as my number one team because they're the world champions. We talking about those Kansas City Chiefs, man. <laughs> the those Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs, they just know how to get it, get the job done. They right. play against Cincinnati and Baltimore, so they they killing the ALC North all year so far, you know. Now, it's been nail biters, and I, I, I'll give them that, but they're the champions, man. It's nothing – if you got you to gotta really beat down a champion this year for me to just try to take them out of the jurisdiction like I did last year a little bit. I – I brung them down to like five or six, maybe a couple of times. But this year, I ain't going this year. You got to beat them, really okay. kick them guys out for them to just lose their position like this. They looking okay. for the 3P. You know, you got, what, um, um, you got um, Kelsey still. Kelsey. Um, they got the new the new running, uh, the new wide receiver, um, Worthy. Yeah, exactly. Xavier Worthy. Worthy. He, he Fastest killing. Guy. Fastest guy on the planet, at least in the NFL. You know, and so that's why they still got Cocaine Pacheco, even though he out for a little bit in the IR. But, you know, he'll be back, and it don't matter because it's so early right now. So that's my top five right there. The Kansas City Chiefs at number one. You got the Who That Stinks at number two. You know, you got the Juggernaut Texans at number three. <laughs> the Juggernaut Texans. The Jugs. That sounds funny. <laughs> it took my every, it took my every day. Yeah, it took my every day. <laughs> number four, you got those Tampa Bay Buccaneers, man, because I told y'all what it's about. It's about Evans and Baker Mayfield. They're on, they're on a new page together. And number five, to round it up. Don't Buffalo Bills. Let's go, Buffalo. Let's East go, top five, Buffalo. Top five, top five, top five. That's East top five. There you have it, man. It's brought to you by Brown Toro Clean Delivery and Pair. Clean Delivery and Repair. Excuse me again. Y'all want to get in contact with us. Y'all know the move. Hit the links. Check the links below. I'm rolling with your top five, bro. I can't even hate on who that said they're going to beat those Saints. I love them at number two. They possibly could have been number one this week, but I ain't gonna yeah. calibrate the top five. It is East top it's five. It's all good, you know. You know what I'm saying? Kansas City is who that. They all we they thought, all do, they thought they were. were. You know what I mean? They go. And they always get off. They're they the gonna see these next few games though without without cocaine, cocaine for Yeah. We gonna see how the running game, uh, how the running game hold up. But I like what they did with the receivers and all season defense all the way side of Kansas City. Andy Reid, they got one of the greatest coaches. So. Man, I'm interested to see this week, man. Let's see how your, how your top five hold up. But, man, let's, let's get into Bass Talk, man. Other side of the break. Yes, sir. Want y'all to stay tuned. Nah, Coming Bears. back with Bass Talk on the other side of the break. We got a lot to say about that. And uh, we finna take another slight intermission, and we're going to be right back, man. Hold it down. Spaceship. It flies. It flies. Yo, Jilla Beats on the ones and twos. Hey. If you're looking for a producer, songwriter, DJ, engineer, a place to podcast, radio interview, even a spot to rehearse, man, make sure you hit me up, 773-357-5089. We can make all that happen at the Orchestration Institute. Ah. (laughs) It's your boy Nike Films. You need any photography or music videos, just hit me on Instagram at Nike Films. That's N-I-K-E-E-F-I-L-M-Z. That's N-I-K-E-E-F-I-L-M-Z. Attention all aspiring artists. Are you looking for the perfect place to take your passion for music to the next level? Look no further than the Orchestration Institute. The Orchestration Institute also offers music production, DJing, songwriting, a place to rehearse, Skilled sound engineering. Post your pop up on the pop up podcast or your next baby shower. Call 773 357 5089 and don't forget to follow on all social media platforms for exciting updates. The Orchestration Institute, where all of your events and music production needs come alive. Orchestration. Welcome back. 
back, guys. It's the boy, Mako Scott, the Mayor Russian. It's the Weekly Dog Sports Man Podcast. And I'm East Selling the Mayor Taylor Street. And this segment is called Bears Talk. The Bears. Bears. E, I'm so disappointed in the Bears, man. The defense. It did they pop. We still the months of the midway, but the offense just can't catch up, bro. I mean, the game was so disappointing on Sunday. We had all them people fly out to Houston, Texas, and party <laughs> like rock stars. And it was actually a good game. It's a real good game. It was a good game. game, man. What's your takes on it, man? Drop, drop me a couple more. Man, before I, before I drop my take, man, please make sure y'all like, subscribe, share, comment, especially on this Bears talk, man. I know we got a lot of Bears fans out here, so give us y'all feedback. You know, whether y'all agree or disagree, we're going to give y'all our take about the Bears. But um, right away, man, just getting back into it, it was very just disappointing offensively, man. Offensively, again, I just feel like it, it's sad because – I'm sick of it You know I'm just sick of these years <laughs> After year after year After year yeah. Like we always have Our whole size files We have a new offense It's concerned And training camp They always looking great um, We got the we got the Everybody over there In uh, what they go Lake Forest Right like, Lake All Forest. the fans And they doing good touchdowns They saying how, how Raw our offense Is about to be dynamic And we got all these Playmakers And then we get to the game and it's like nobody is nobody can't be found on offense, you know. And I don't under, I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm not going to just sit here and say it's all Caleb Williams because the offensive line was horrific, man. Right, I let's mean, get into I it. mean that this is you th- know what this, it is. this is this is this is getting out of hand, you know. Like, what do we have to do to get an offensive line like every other 32 teams in the NFL? You yeah, know, like, I'm I, gonna say I'm gonna <laughs> say Ram Poles in Ram Poles we trust is. It's, man, it's to the link, man. Like, Ryan Post, you put this team together, bro. And I'm like, I have faith in you. You brought us a good quarterback. We got a good receiver. But, man, one thing we don't have is a good offensive line. And it's sickening, man. It's like it's like when you build an old-school car. You got the rims. I'm talking about we got 24-inch rims. We got a dunk. We got a brand-new paint job. We got a 450 motor. But we don't have a transmission. You know no what I'm transmission. Saying? How you going to have this nice car? With no transmission, like you missed the most important thing. Like we look at Detroit and how they turned it around. Detroit can block. You look at Kansas City team. Kansas City can block. Mm-hmm. Miami team. Miami could block. Philadelphia could block. They can block and run the football. So it's like you can't have all these shiny new toys. Like you invested in skill positions like Swift. Yeah, he he nice at running back. DJ Moore, great at wide receiver. Keenan Allen, nice at wide receiver. Roma Dunze, he decent at wide receiver. But if we don't have time to throw the ball, like, it's all for nothing. You can't, if we got this nice car sitting on these nice rims, a great motor, but we can't get in the drive. Like, we put the car in the drive, and it's just like, it don't go. The, the trans keeps slipping. Like, we got to rebuild a transmission. You got to start with a trans and a motor. First on the car, you can't just, man, I got this great motor, but you ain't got the right trans, or you got the rims, you got the piping, the nice interior on the car, but the car don't move. That's what the Bears is right now. Right now, the Bears is a car that do not move. And it's sad, and too. It's... I'm done with the McCaskey Kool-Aid right now. I got the whole keg of it. I'm going to empty it out. I'm not. We, we don't have the red cups. No the red McCas- cups hey, today. No I'm, red I'm, cups. I'm taking the gloves off, man. We playing against a team. This week in uh, the Colts, and we better have a transmission in this car. Like we gotta run the ball. This is the worst run offense. This is the run. This is the worst run defense in the league right now. And I'm. I want to see us run the ball, and I want to see Caleb Williams get at least two passing touchdowns. That's man. My just get just get a touchdown in general, Caleb. I mean, yes. let's just keep it, let's keep it one hundred. You haven't got a passing touchdown since the since we seen you. In the NFL And I think every last quarterback In the NFL that started At least got a Well besides uh, Bryce Young yeah, <laughs> But it's, it's a couple That's others. not That's 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 not the company That you want to be under You know what I'm saying Like you, uh, you don't want to be In that company Being the number one pick You know And I'm not going to Necessarily like Kill you Because you did start The game off 12 or 15 You know You was doing a lot of um, You know I feel like I've seen A lot of mistakes That you made The first game You you did good The second game You made It was much better It's just the office in line And shame I mean, that, that, we're not going to let you off the hook like that. Go down dirty shame. It's not. It's, it's, we can't let you off the hook. And we're not going to let Evil Tools off the hook for um, bringing this guy in. Because uh, at the end of the day, I mean, it got to be something that we can do as far as offensive game plan to, you know, 
to, to benefit the actual offensive lineup we have because we did it last year, you know, with Justin Fields. We got to play to our strengths. We man. was top five in rushing last year, so at least, last, even if we got to run the ball a couple of times, first, second down, let's hand the ball off behind the snap. Don't do the shotgun little stuff. We don't need no good being four yards behind. We need to come in there game banging right away, you know, and pound them because they, as a team, that cannot stop the run. You seen last yeah, game? They got, they got the worst run. They got the worst. They got the worst run defense. I want to see some plays drawn up, Shane. Low down, dirty Shane. I don't know. Hey, like I was sold on you. I'm not gonna blame Eberflus because Eberflus is a defensive coach and the defense, and the defense is playing well. But I will blame Ryan Post because Post, you, you put this team together. You should have made sure you had offensive line. And with the offensive line being in shambles, like we don't even know who hiking the ball. We ain't got good solid guards. We ain't had solid offensive line play. So it's up to you to fix it. I don't know if it's going to be free agency. I don't know if you got to go to China and have them build a robot or clone somebody. Like you got to get somebody. You got to get Kelsey to come out of retirement, stop doing a podcast and hike the ball. Like you going to have to do something. You're going to have to put on a uniform and go block yourself. Like What's his name? The real white? The real white. Our, man, our first round pick from last. Oh, man, he don't don't think we ain't, we ain't seen what you've been looked, doing lately. We looked at like you just, him. Man, him and Sheldon. Oh, my God. Like, the guards, the tackles, the whole offensive line been looking like crap. I can't say nothing else. It's tough because we wasting, we wasting another, another great defense. It's, it looks like we, they, they're trying to waste yeah. another great defense. I mean, we only have so many years as, as a good defense. And that's kudos to them because to just hold Houston Texans to, what, 19 points? Yeah, they did their job. I mean, the you, you know, you could, what else you can do? You know, they, they kept giving them the ball, and that's a solid offensive juggernaut type of team right there. So but It's week two. I'm not, I'm not sold on Houston either. Like, you might give them a lot of praise and – this and that. I'm not so long. Well, I'm just going to best them what they did last year with the little mix. Last year, um, I wasn't impressed. Like, C.J. Stroud was a good He was a good quarterback last year. They had a good run at it, but, oh, no, they got to do it this year. And they've been doing it so far this year. They solid. They beat us. They scored 19 against the Bears. They could have scored more, but Caleb Williams had the ball. Last possession, he could have scored. You know what I mean? But he didn't have it. He didn't drive us down field. Like, look at Kirk Cousins. You like that? You like that? You see what he did? Now, that's what I was expecting for Caleb Williams. Maybe not to the extent of Kirk Cousins, but we need something like that, man, coming down. When you got two minutes left in the game, you got an opportunity to score. You got to complete the ball downfield, and you got to run some plays. And right now, Shane, I'm not sure what's going on, but – Move the pocket around. Like, do some do some draw plays. The screen was just looking suspect. The running game was just all suspect. Joe, we got to pull a guard. We got to play some football, man. We got to play some real football this week. And I'm, 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 say, I'm, I'm not drinking the McCaskey Kool-Aid ever again, man. I'm, I'm <laughs> done with the McCaskey Kool-Aid at this point. Like, we going to hold y'all accountable on this we got, show. Now we got to hold him accountable. Nope. Want, that's another guy I want to hold accountable to because we didn't bring you in as a coach. You know who I'm talking about, Keenan Allen. I know you trying to retire, uh, but I ain't know you was retiring before you got here. Like you supposed to be the wide receiver coach or something. You need to get out there and on his field and help us out. We didn't bring you in just he to be thirty two. He hurt. I ain't gonna blame Keenan Allen. Yeah, man. He but hurt. he, he thirty two. He hurt. He hurt, man. Like Keenan Allen, if the offensive line don't block, ain't nothing he can do. He might as well chill, man. I mean, you don't want to break his leg. Like let's get the line fixed. This week, let's this, at least yeah, let's get, get that fixed. This let's week, go, let's at least move. Let's take a step forward. We took a few steps back. Let's take a step forward. I ain't gonna help on. Uh, I ain't gonna harp on on Allen too hard, but I do want to see some two tight end sets. Like we invested in too many tight ends. Yeah, where is Cole this Komet? Year, like Cole Komet, Gerald, uh, what's his Everett, name? Gerald yeah, Everett. Gerald Everett. I want to see some two tight end sets. I want to see some power football this week. I want at least twenty five rushes. I take twenty passes. Caleb don't look. He didn't look. He, I really don't really know what we got in the quarterback because we can't you protect. Can't even tell. So I don't want to come off too hard on Caleb. I want to. I want to direct my energy and my focus to the coaches and the owners and the management, not the ownership, the management. Because Ryan Poles, we giving you free reigns. You did the move. You did the thing. But, man, you got to nail home this offensive line because everybody know the NFL, one thing you can say about all the teams that win the Super Bowl, they can block. And it started up front. You got a good offensive line, good defensive line. You got to start there. You can't stop with these star players because by week eight, they're going to be trade bait. 
by week eight, week nine, they're gonna be trade back. We're gonna be we're gonna be thinking about next season if we keep if it keep going like this. And we two games in. On the positive you know note. On the positive note, we are we one and one. Yeah, we you two know, games in. Um, we did lose to an LC team, so it's not like we lost to somebody in our in our conference. So that's that's the positive. But let's get it together, offensive line. Like he said, you know, that's something that needs to happen immediately. We plan against another LC team, and that's that's let's work on this before we start to play against these against those dogs in the NFC. Man, folks, before we get to this NFC, let's get this car right, man. It look good. It look good. The pitches look good. It started up. It sounded good. Man, let's get this car rolling, man. I'm ready to get this car rolling. I'm tired of looking at it in the garage. I want to burn it up the street. I want to see it burn rubber, do donuts, all of that, man. I'm ready for the car show. Ram pose, man. Get it together, man. Get the transmission together. Get the offensive line together. You did, did solid. Defensive line, you did solid. You hired Who a couple of mercenaries. Defense? You drafted well. Offensive line, we gotta have that, bro. We gotta we have we it. We can't, we can't continuously not be able to run the ball and protect our quarterback. It don't look good for us as a team. It don't look good for where we going. It don't look good for you. It's a bad look for you. I actually like you. I like how you look being our boss. But man, you got, we gotta do better. We gotta do better. Gotta Offensive do better. line, gotta do better. And man, I'm still betting with the Bears. Don't get me wrong. I'm betting with the Bears this week against. The Colts, the Bears should win this game, but we're going to talk about that on the picks, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to no that. No McCaskey Kool-Aid, Joe. No McCaskey Kool-Aid. I'm done with that no for McCaskey a minute. Kool-Aid. We got to quit celebrating. This time, I'm back, I'm back to earth. I'm no more flags, either. Like no that. more flags, either. No more <laughs> offensive line flags, false starts, delayed man. games, all that, all that, too. That's why I was blaming. That's more I was blaming. Even flu song was those offensive, uh, those flags, those delayed games after a timeout. Or those false stops. Oh, it's like now, that's one thing we didn't I'm tired of the first and 15s that, and, 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 the, and that. The actual call challenge plays that Evil Flutes did. Like, why would you call? Why would you challenge that? Why would you challenge those plays, man? Like, that right there, like, I've been with you this whole time. This all three years, Evil Flutes, like, you was a little shaky last year, but then when you took over the defense, I was riding with you. Now it's kind of hard to protect you, bro. You challenging plays like that. You you can't keep challenging plays. But we watching the game on live TV. We can see it's a catch by Stephon Diggs. We can Clearly. see Briska drop the ball. Like, why is you challenging these Clearly. plays? We needed those timeouts. We could have used outs. those timeouts. So you have another game like that challenging plays, man. We, we put your head on the block, too. I'm, I'm starting to feel like, man, why didn't we get Jim Harbaugh? At first, I was like, man, you know, man. Evil Flutes wasn't that bad, but I'm starting to get a feeling like, man. a great man, person. It's why just didn't we get Harbaugh? Nice. I'm starting to get that feeling in my stomach like, man, we we might have made the bad decision not getting Jim Harbaugh. So that's why uh, I met with the Bears. Man, it's Bears Talk. Like, subscribe, share. Comment. All that, man. Smackle Scott, the man Russian. And I'm East Salina, the man Taylor Street. And we're going to see you on the other side of the break, man. We got to come with the picks, bro. Yes. Let's, let's, let's burn this house down, man. The picks. This week on the other side of the break. Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy Lucky Seven. And if you are an artist like me, I need you to go download that Beat Stars app right now. And when you download it, make sure you look up my dog E Jilla Beat. That's E J I L L A B E A T S for some of the dopest beats you can find right now in all genres. Whether you rap, sing, I don't care what you do, he got a beat on there for you. So go download that Beat Stars app right now. He got beats available for leasing, purchasing, whatever you want. And you can talk deals on that with him. So make sure you hit him up at E J I L L A B E A T S on the Beat Stars app. You better go get some of them beats before I take them off. Coming to you live from the Orchestration Radio Studio. So turn your radio up and turn those speakers up. Welcome back to the Weekly Dog Sportsman Podcast Show. It's your boy, Michael Scott, the man Russian. And I'm East Selling the Mayor Taylor Street. And, uh, man, this segment right here is one of my favorite segments. It's the dogs. Oh, 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 oh. The picks. Big dogs. Look, dogs this week. All Eight dogs. Last week, the dogs was out. The dogs the was barking last week. You know they mean? was barking. You went 2-0 oh last week. E.O. Child, you kicked it off right, man. Hey, America, I'm telling y'all, this is a new season with these dogs. This is the Weekly Dog Sportsman Podcast. Man, we're going to get these dogs right this year. Man, you undefeated already this year. Let's so go, you kicked off go. with a bang. I started let's off 1-1. One one, then, you know, the bass hey, that's just the Still, you, with that. Yeah, you, I mean, you still did your thing though, one on one. You know, that's I mean, for having yeah. other dogs out here, man, it's something so much you can do. 
we didn't know that Arizona was gonna come out that game banging uh, against, <laughs> against the, the, against the Rams, you know. So that was one that, that kind of threw us like left. I, I was still surprised about that. I totally. thought that was one that was probably was, was an easier one. Man, totally you know? unexpected. The um, Arizona Cardinals turned to the Bulls, saw Cardinals and just chopped down the Rams. But uh, before we get y'all these peaks, we want y'all to like, subscribe, share for this content, man. We coming in hot. We got the we got the links. Check the links below. The links you know below. what I mean? Y'all want to shop with us. Y'all want to make some bets. Y'all want to bet with us. Bet against us. Y'all don't like our picks. Bet against us. Y'all want to sign up for one of these sports books. Y'all can do that. It's all in the links below, baby. Yes, kick sir. it off, E. You kick oh, it yeah, off. I'm going to go ahead. I, I, I go ahead and jump it off, man, since I'm tuning on. I'm trying to keep this thing going. You know, <laughs> I, I got a lot of confidence in these little dogs. My first dog, this is my little Chihuahua <laughs> type of dog right here. A, a great game. It's, we got the 2 and 0 uh, Pittsburgh Steelers versus 2 and 0 San Diego Chargers. Oh, yeah, that's um, And it, that's, this is a great game right here, but I'm going to have to go with the underdog. They got the Chargers, the San Diego Chargers as an <laughs> underdog. Well, as an underdog, and I'm liking them, you know, as that underdog special to go ahead and do their due diligence. Uh, right now, looking like they are a plus one and a half. As far as the um, as far as the spread is concerned, but the money line is plus plus one twenty eight, I believe. But um, no, I'm actually yep. Let me just make sure I don't want to mess plus that up. Well, wait for plus one hundred two, but it's still in the plus side. It's plus one hundred two, but plus one and a half. As far as the spread is concerned, I'm liking the straight out money line. It's a plus, you know, and um, I'm, I'm liking what the Chargers is doing. They got a lot of they got offense. They got a running back. They got defense. Harbaugh is pumped Chip up, Harbaugh. and um, you know Pittsburgh is one of those teams that you know they even though they've been winning, they don't really got too much offense. You know they don't got too much offense, so I can see the um, Chargers going on, going on the road, giving them their first L. You know I, I feel like they got more firepower. That's why I'm liking the L.A. Chargers over the Pittsburgh Steelers at plus one o two money hey, line. That's your little dog. That's, that's my little dog. Hey, I, I I like I love San Diego. I love the Chargers. I love Jim Harbaugh. I love the running game he implemented. That's how you put a team together. When you strip it down, that's what you do. You start with the offensive line and run the football. Because if you can't run the football in that field, you can't win games. So I hope Ryan Paul's taking those. But I'm going on the other side, man. I'm, I'm going I'm going the other way. I looked off this week. I'm going back on the East Coast. NFC, I'm going with them Eagles, man. Fly, fly Eagles, Eagles, fly. fly. <laughs> For real. The coach, he did a bonehead move, man. He... They had the game won. I was counting my money. Send me my money. I was counting my money, man. Mm. And then he let them. He let them dirty birds get dirty. He let. He let Kirk Cousins. You like that? You like that? Don't you? He let Cousins come in the game and left him too much time. He drove down the field like he had a Humvee, and uh, he was on concrete. I, that was the best I ever seen a team drive downfield. My life, and I've been watching football a long time. He was an old quarterback, with some young wide receivers, but they just caught the they caught the Eagles up down the stretch. So I think the Eagles bounce back. They going against them them Saints. Who that? that? One, of, one of East top five, number, number two, two, number two squad. Yeah, so that's they, a dog they, right yeah, there. That's a real dog. They battle yeah. one of East top five. We going we going at the East top five early this year. <laughs> I got to go with a man. The run game was solid. Saquon Barkley, no, he should have caught that ball. He made his team look bad. He made his coach look bad. He made himself look bad on that play. So, I'm going with, I'm really going with the Eagles, man. I feel like, man, they, they, they get it together. They go to the Saints. They go down New Orleans, and they really make it happen. The money line of that game, plus 128. Plus 128, the spread. Plus four and a half. Was it four and a half or three two and, and a half? Two and a half. Plus two and a half. Yes, field goal. That's about right. That's still so many points. I think that the Eagles win outright. I actually think the Eagles win that game by three and a half, maybe even more. I'm not I'm not a believer of the Saints right now. But if they beat the Eagles, I might hop on the bandwagon. So that's my little dog this week. Okay, uh, big might, dog, who you, you got? Might, you might as well go ahead and roll your big dog. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Keep, keep it going. going, then. Big, big dog, dog like my big dog this week. Big Roo. Big dog, I'm going with them dirty birds, man. Oh, oh. Them dirty birds. Dirty birds. Is serious, though. <laughs> Kansas City, they've been off the they've been winning a bunch of close games. That last game they played against Cincinnati. I didn't like the call. What can I say? I didn't like the call, but it's one bad call. Hated that but call. One thing about Kansas City, when you make a bad call on them, boy, they make you pay. 
They just know how to play backyard football. Mahomes is Mahomes. Kelsey is Kelsey. But that new wide receiver they got, man, he got speed. And he take the top off the defense and then get them opportunity to work underneath. I think they passing. I mean, I think they running game is going to suffer because Cocaine is not in the building. <laughs> Cocaine Pacheco is he out into November. So I think Kansas City going to struggle and struggle bad. I think the Dirty Birds, that defense, Cal Pitts get going. Just that confidence that they got with Kirk Cousins coming back and carving that Philadelphia defense up like that, that's going to take that team to another level. They already had the defense out there. The money line plus 144, that's one and a half almost. That's, that's one and a half to one. So if you bet a dollar, you get a dollar fifty. You bet a hundred, you get a hundred fifty dollars off that bet right there. They're my big dogs. I'm rolling with them dirty birds down in the A. Shout out to my homies in the A. A. D. T. Not guy, y'all hold it down. B. O. B. Hold me down. <laughs> Who your big dog? He hey, man, with. before I get to my big dog, I'm going to say something about the dogs. Your dogs this weekend, as you can see, America, he coming out my top ten. I'm in my top five. That was my one, number one and my number two team. <laughs> the Cats, he was number one. He was number two, but, man, they dogs. Is, he got the dogs to yeah, go out of them this weekend. So, hey, that's what it is what it is, you know. I'm going to go ahead and roll over to my big dog. This is my little arr, 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 big dog. I mean, these guys right here. They looking like they they the new um, Ferrari out here. So we talking about the young the young Marvin Harrison Jr. with uh, Kyle Lamar. We talking about those Arizona Cardinals Ooh, at they, home. Did they get it together? Plus three, plus plus three as far as the spread is concerned. Plus one twenty eight for the money line over the Detroit Lions. The Detroit is lying now. They lying down. They wounded. They wounded. St. Brown been hurt. He's hurt, guys. He's hurt. They just they just they just got they um they got annihilated by um. Last week, actually, they got they got beat up by Tampa Bay, so they ain't you know they they live it they live it down and out and they on a the roll and you don't want to play with um Arizona Cardinals right now. Mind you, last season the end of the season they was already on this type of page and then they come in and doing what they doing. Plus with uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. Now starting to step to the mix. I'm yeah. liking what I'm saying with the um, with these Arizona Cardinals. It's Mars. gonna be hot. That's my it's favorite. gonna be about 200 degrees outside. I don't know Detroit gonna be able to handle that 200 degree weather. Which so um, I'm loving the Arizona Cardinals over the Detroit Lions plus 128. That's my big dog. Man, Whoa. I love it. I love, hey, I love that big dog right there. You know, you know I'm a Maserati Mar. I'm a fan. <laughs> Anybody from Ohio State. I'll be rocking with them. That's why I rock with O H I O, baby. You know I'm rocking with Ohio State. They got McBride out there. They defense suspect, but suspect. they can score with whoever. Especially if, if Calamari and Mar get on the same page, and McBride, they got the tight end to bell them out. Like yeah. I like, I like Arizona offense. The Lions, man, I think they're gonna fall off too. I'm, I'm not so. They got good line, but I'm not so. Uh, St. Brown hurt Saint a little Brown bit. Hurt. The running game ain't been quite what it was last year, but mm-hmm. uh, Gibbs ain't been quite who he was last year either. And it's a contract year for him, so he's looking for a stick. So if they gonna turn it around, they gonna have to turn it around on the road in Arizona. I don't, I don't like how that's looking, man. That's if them are them are picks though. You don't like us, better against us, man. Against Y'all us. know what it is, man. But I can't tell you one thing. You get caught in that yard this week, you are gonna get ate up because hey. them boys is coming this week. It's early in the year. I don't think they got the last right. They got the spreads light. They got the man, spreads it's a little some, light. So. And it's been some close. It's been some close. Um, it's been some little dogs all week, man. I mean, it's some tight games. So that's how you know it's a lot of parity right now in the NFL. They ain't got nobody really blowing nobody yeah. up by more than six points, six and a half points this week. Yeah, now they don't because you know, don't know what's they, going they on. They know it's parity in the NFL. So them the picks, Bears, man. Let's get oh. to the Bears pick. Yep, and Ooh, that's the side bonus. Man, Bears well, so the, off this week. The bonus. The Bears. They the, plus one and a half. The, the money is, line is. Plus one and a half, uh, plus one oh eight. One oh eight plus one oh eight. Yep. What you got the Bears doing I'm, this week? Hey man, I mean we just y'all just and had us last week. What's the total for this week for the, the total, Bears? The total for the um is forty five and a half. I will say I'm I'm liking the total for the total of uh, forty five and a half. That's forty five no, actually that's forty three and a half. Forty three and a half. I'm liking the forty three and a half low key because um I, I do like Anthony Richardson to make some a little bit of noise. And I think they gotta um then they gotta bounce back. They gotta win when they owe and two, you know what I'm saying? So and then Taylor, you know, he got something to prove a little bit, so I kinda like them getting something. I think this is a bounce back game for the Bears as far as our running is concerned. We just heard us talk about the offensive line, what y'all gotta do. Y'all right. seen how Mixon ran all over the coach. All over the coats. It's time for us to do the same exact thing. You know. So you got the bears. I got the. the I, I definitely got the bears. I got the bears on the money line, and I definitely got the over. Well, that's one thing we agree on the bears money line. I'm, I'm not rolling with the total. I'm not really feeling the total. 
Uh, Richardson, he a great quarterback running, but man, it's his best defense. It's Delhi. That, yeah. uh, I think it's going to be a lot of us running the ball, so I'm just going to say, just going to say this right here, man. Bears running the ball. Score going to be low. I'm going to take the under this one. I'm going to take the Bears on the money line for sure. We should win this game. I'm done with the McCaskey Kool-Aid until the Bears win again, and Caleb Williams score a couple of touchdowns. I'm really done with it, man. So that's what we got, man. We got the Bears winning this game. You got them over. I got them under. We got the dogs. You know who I'm rolling with. I'm rolling with those Dirty Birds, and I'm rolling with uh. I'm rolling with those dirty birds and I'm rolling with those eagles. I'm rolling with all of the birds. Right, man, I'm, I'm all rolling, the birds. I'm, I got me a little bird. We're talking about the Arizona Cardinals. And you know, I'm going to charge it up with them San Diego. Well, they in Los Angeles now, <laughs> yeah. But I still like to say San Diego. Yeah, shout out Boo, man. He's one of the main reasons <laughs> why I wanted to do this, man. Boo. Uh, it's been good, man. Hey. Shout outs, baby. It's, it's, it's it, man. Hey, shout out to We on Fire, the spot. The spot, Check them out, man. Check them yeah, out. Check them out. Shout out, Old Millie. Old Millie Old Heads Podcast, the Old Heads Podcast, Old Millie and the crew, they been doing good work talking about everything from the hoops to the scoops. So shout them out. Shout out e Orchestration. e Orchestration Beats. Radio. Shout them out, man. Shout out our bros. Tailgate crew. Shout out, uh, shout out Fantasy, Cash man. Shout out Brothers. Cash out Brothers. Yeah, shout out the chat. You know what I mean? We ain't bring y'all nothing from the best lip this week, but we shout y'all out anyway. Best lip been popping. I've been rolling with the unders. The Giants been betting against them. So y'all know how we roll the that way. Uh, shout out. Who else we missing? Who, who else we missing? Hey, the man, cash out, brother. Cash out, brother. Joe's, Joe's versus Shy yeah. Guys. Joe's versus Shy Guys. Oh, yeah, you know, guys. by the way, I'm 2-0. You know, let the league let the yeah. league get scoring two straight weeks. You know, we out here, but we hurt, though. We injured, though. We wounded, though. We yeah, wounded. wounded. We I'm, wounded, I'm, but I'm we... one and one. I, so, I didn't want I, I ain't start off the season like I did last year on four. I'm one and one, so I got a shot. And, uh, man, that's it, man. Another good show, E. Yes, sir. All right, let's get off camera, man. How this business, man? Like, subscribe, share for the pod. And we out of here, man. Hope y'all had a good time checking in with us. Continue to support this content. Spaceship. We out of here, baby. (laughs) The Weekly Dog Sports Betting Podcast.